Yeah, my mum needs to take a chill pill, seriously. She's getting itch. She's not going off to war. Cut some slack. Marriage is a big deal for somebody like mum. Why'd you say that? Because some people don't expect good things to happen to them. And from what you've told me about Abby, I'm surprised she's not surrounded by charms and pentagrams 24-7. I guess so. I am really proud of how far she's come. Uh, slightly obvious. Just to think about the person she used to be. No lie, right? This one time she... She flogged her mum's best necklace. Just for a baggie of heroin. Wow. That's a dark place to be in. It was. It was. I know deep down she still hates herself for doing that. She was an addict. It's not an excuse in her book. I don't suppose you remember what the necklace looked like? Nah. Nah, I was too young. Yeah. Do you reckon there's any photos of your grand wearing it? Probably, yeah. Why? So this is what we're looking for. Pendant's pretty fancy. Yeah, <laughs> apparently my grand liked a bling. So, where do you find another one? Well, you could have it custom made, but that'll take a lot of time and a lot of money. Neither of which I have. In that case, we'll just have to do it the hard way. OK. This isn't going to be easy. As Roy would say, nothing worthwhile ever is. Indeed. Thanks again for doing this. Don't be daft. It's not like I've got anything better to do. Uh, that's not entirely accurate. I seem to recall you promised me a recipe for a new vegan special. And it's on my to-do list. If you don't mind, I'm trying to make a bride's dream come true here. Aww. I love this designer. She makes jewellery out of old watch movements. Some of it's so beautiful. Ah, at least I know what sort of engagement ring to get, you know. <laughs> Funny. OK, this looks promising. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if the uh, pendant had a skull and crossbones on the back, though. I don't know. It's every little thing with you. Anything? Found a couple that look similar. Similar isn't good enough. Uh, Nina, I'm sorry to press you, but either you provide a new recipe idea or I will be forced to go with the vegetable bake. Five more minutes. You said that 12 minutes ago. Fine. Won't be long. Where are you going? To pick Alia's brain. You can't purloin one of her dishes. I'm not purloining anything, OK? I'm merely seeking inspiration from a successful, smart and, admittedly, smoking hot businesswoman. Ooh, try not to flirt with her too much. Hey, Roy, could I have another coffee, please? Of course, yes. Thank you. Everything OK? May I be candid with you? Yeah, yeah, you can be whoever you like, as long as it's not Piers Morgan, cos he does my nutting. Sorry. As a rule, I actively avoid interference in my niece's personal life. OK. I mention this so that you understand that what I am about to say isn't said lightly. You think I'm bad for her, don't you? No, oh, no, no I find you a, an increasingly positive influence in her life. But? Well, I worry that you might be, uh, well, getting ahead of yourself. In what way? Well, the engagement ring comment, for one thing. Oh, no, that was just a joke, that. No, I swear. No, I, I didn't mean anything by it. I, I, I make no judgment. I simply urge you not to rush things with Nina. Asher made a similar error. I, I, and I wouldn't wish for your relationship to take the same path. Coffee. The invite. Well, I think you'll find that it was a group invite. Oh, well, even so, it was a nice surprise. No, uh, Asher? No, she decided to stay in. <gasps> Trouble in paradise already. Did I say that? Yeah, I was going to get so defensive. I mean, I just thought you guys were inseparable. Guess I was wrong. Oh, nothing, thanks. Just waiting to see Alia. You're such a game player. Yeah, well, little girls like to play games. Look, Asher gets me, OK? She knows my deal. And what is your deal? Uh -huh. I do what I want, when I want. Really? Mm. Well, that makes two of us. Oh, hiya. Hi. Uh, can I just have a white coffee, please? Taking a break from the studying? 
Yeah. Is everything okay? With you and Corey, I mean. Yeah, of course. Why? Were you hoping it wasn't? Don't be daft. I want you to be happy. Well, I am. It's just... I saw him with Kelly before. I just wondered, that's all. Kelly? Yeah, and Speed Dial. Oh, he was meeting some of his mates, and she's part of that crowd, so... It was just the two of them, and they looked pretty cosy to me. Why? What, what were they doing? Just chatting and laughing, you know? But there was something about it. So, basically nothing. You're just trying to stir things, aren't you? What? Cause trouble between Corey and me. And why would I do that? Because you can't bear the thought that I might have actually got over you. Come on, Asher. You know me better than that. I just don't want you to get hurt. Don't you worry. You're the one who hurt me, not Corey. You know what? Keep the coffee. Asher. I'm sorry. Don't be. Did me a favour. At least I'm with someone who loves me now. Who doesn't want to be helped? Uh, well, the short answer is, uh, you can't. And a more constructive answer? Would depend on a variety of factors. The first being, is, is this hypothetical? It's Asha. I'm worried she's going to get hurt by Corey, and I know it's none of my business, but I can't help caring about her. And you have tried talking to her? Yeah, but she won't listen. Well, in the end, people are responsible for their own actions. I think the only thing that you can do now is to wait and be ready to support her should your prediction turn out to be correct. Yeah. You're right, as usual. I shall endeavour to erase it from my thoughts. Good. Hiya. Did you manage to track the necklace down? Uh, no, no. Well, most of the places we found didn't have anything even similar. Look, you're free. I just wanted a quick word. I'll just finish up out the back. Cheer up. Even if you can't find one, you'll still get something she'll like. Yeah, I know. I know. Look, I've, I've been... I've, I've been thinking. I've been thinking about you and me and about how fast this has all happened. I mean, we've literally gone through a few dates to, to me moving in, haven't we? Yep. Warp speed. I, th I think... I think we should slow things down. I think... I think I should move back out. I mean, it just seems crazy rushing things, doesn't it? You know, why put so much pressure on ourselves? We've got all the time in the world, don't we? Right then. I'll tell you what, rather than slow things down, why don't we just stop them all together? Hey? Instead of you backing towards the exit, hoping I won't notice. Either out of kindness or cowardice, I'm not sure which yet. I'd rather just kick you straight out the door. You want us to split up? No. You want us to split up. You just don't want me to know. Oh, that's rubbish. That's rubbish. I love being with you. So why do you want to move out, then? Cos... I'm, I'm... I'm scared of losing you. That doesn't make any sense. I'm worried that I'm, I'm coming on too strong, that, that you'll start to feel... claustrophobic. Have I ever looked like I was gasping for air? No. no. Or said anything to make you think that? No, it's nothing you said. Who, hey, then? Sorry to interrupt. I'm, I'm cooking a casserole. A ve vegetarian, should you wish to partake. That'd be great, thanks. Oh, by the way, do you know what you were saying before about people being responsible for their own actions and that you should stand back and let them get on with it? Yes, yes. But then this morning, you had a little chat with Seb about not coming on too strong because it might put me off. Ah. I'm just wondering how those two things sort of fit together, you know? You're quite right. I shouldn't have done that. I apologise. Good. However, in my defence, uh, uh, may I quote your own words, which I believe were, I know it's none of my business, but I can't help caring about her. Mm, OK. I'll forgive you this time. Thank you. I take it I was wrong, then. Totally. I'm very glad to hear it. Not as glad as I was. 
I mean, I know everything's happening dead fast, but this time in a good way. It's like we were always meant to be together and now we're just making up for all the years we weren't. Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. Does that sound soppy? Not at all. Very much how I felt about Hayley, although I wasn't able to put it quite so eloquently. Let's put it less eloquently. If it feels right, just go for it. Indeed you should. Uh, not, not that I'm giving advice there. Ever again. <laughs> mm.